This method can help answer key questions in the field of neuroscience by providing a simpler, less error-prone, and more quantitative method for verifying lesions and locating electrode locations. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows for the verification of lesions and electrode sites in the whole brain without the need for sectioning. The end product is a digital 3D volume of the brain and multiple brains can be processed in parallel. Though this method will be demonstrated in the rat, it can also be applied to other organisms such as mice and zebra finches. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because some steps require particular care to ensure best results. To begin, place an extracted brain in perfusion solution in a 50 milliliter conical tube. Store the sample for two to three days with gentle shaking at four degrees Celsius. Make sure that the osmium is diluted in water and not a buffer. This is because the water will act as a mild detergent, allowing the osmium to penetrate deep into the tissue. Prepare 50 milliliters of 2% osmium tetroxide in double distilled water. Then place the brain in a new 50 milliliter conical tube and add the osmium tetroxide solution. Close the tube and seal it with paraffin film to prevent leaks. Store the sealed tube at 4 degrees Celsius with gentle shaking for two weeks. Make sure that the tube is placed horizontally. The brain is very thick and a long ways to travel by diffusion. Placing the tube horizontally will allow the osmium to travel deeper.